Starship 24 upgrades its pipe, the FAA delays the final PEA, Starlink gets the green light, and to wrap it up after 49 years of service, USS Kitty Hawk arrives in port one final time. I'm Grapes, and this is the Space Report. Over the Memorial Day weekend, SpaceX employees were spotted making repairs to the damaged Starship 24. It appears that a vent pipe was the cause for the loud pop and dismounting of heat shield tiles on Friday. As discussed last episode, SpaceX rolled Starship 24 down Highway 4 from the high bay to the launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas for ambient pressure testing, which did not go as planned. Local photographer Starship Gazer was able to spot SpaceX workers making these upgrades. Starship 24 is the first Starship to have its methane header tank removed from the large methane tank and placed in the nose cone right below the LOX header tank. So, the speculation is that this had something to do with the plumbing required to make these changes. Design, build, test, break, and repeat. The Alphabet folks are back at it again. After many months of delays, the FAA was set to release the environmental assessment from Boca Chica today, May 31st, but has since updated the website stating June 13th, 2022. Now, this isn't entirely bad news. In the past, the FAA has postponed the final assessment one month at a time, but this delay only pushes us back two weeks. Hopefully, a sign that we'll be finishing up over the coming days. Starlink is now available in Africa. Over the weekend, SpaceX announced that they received regulatory approval from two countries, Nigeria and Mozambique. Starlink is now officially licensed on all seven continents. As stated, one Starlink can provide internet for an entire school of hundreds of students with a great potential to lift people out of poverty. Providing internet is teaching people to fish. Starlink is now available for your RV. Starlink for RV provides the ability to pause and unpause service at any time and is billed in one month increments, allowing users to customize their service with their individual travel needs. In the early morning on Tuesday, May 31st, 2022, after 49 years of service, the USS Kitty Hawk makes its final call to port in South Padre Island, Texas. The Kitty Hawk's keel was laid at the New York Shipbuilding Corporation in Camden, New Jersey on December 27th, 1956. The ship was launched May 21st, 1960 and commissioned by the Navy on April 29th, 1961. He commissioned in 2009. Departed in January, the voyage has taken the carrier and its tugboat, Michelle Foss, all the way down the west coast of the United States, Mexico, Central and South America, through the Strait of Magellan in southern Chile, and up the other side en route to the Gulf of Mexico in Brownsville. The Kitty Hawk left the port of Spain in Trinidad on May 14th before making its way across the Caribbean Sea and finally arriving to port this morning, May 31st, 2022. Anchors away.